Hey everybody, it's Leslie Hodge with eXp Realty and we are here to introduce you to another one of our awesome real estate agents. So Facebook world, I want to introduce you to Jocelyn Rodriguez. So give Facebook world a little bit of your background. Hello, Facebook world. <laughs> Uh, my name is Jocelyn Rodriguez. Um, I'm a real estate agent here in Wichita, Kansas, and I've been doing this for three years now. So mm -hmm. um, I'm bilingual, so I am involved in the Latin community, and that's me. Okay, so three years now. How long has your husband been licensed? Because he's he's working. Yes, my husband well. is my partner in my uh -huh. real estate adventure. Uh, he's been licensed for a year now. So we act as a team. If I'm not available or if he's not available, we help each other out. So we're on call at all times. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's how it has to work. <laughs> well, and then how many kids do you have too? We have three kids, two girls and a little boy. And yeah, they take up most of our time too. So, so we're, they stay hopping. <laughs> we're busy, busy all the time. Right. So, EXP, you've been with us right around a year, right? Two. Two years? Ooh. Yeah, it'll be two in March. That's right. Holy smokes. Yeah. Time flies. Okay, so what brought you to EXP? I, my husband and I had a serious conversation about this, and we love how EXP is cloud-based. Yeah. So, it allowed us to do any sort of training or anything whenever we had time to do the training. It wasn't like, oh, come into the office to do trainings at this and this time because so-and-so is going to be in the office. No, we get to do everything from home. Right. So it could be one in the morning and I'm doing my training just whenever I want. Okay. So what are some of the classes that you've taken that you really felt like you got something out of? Like what were some of the topics that you've been to training on in the cloud? Um, I loved some of our first time home buyer classes, how to attract clients when it comes to first time home buying as in more of a, an educational training type deal. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like this day and age, it's more about not like, Hey, let me hold your hand and I'm going to sell or help you buy a house. It's more like, this is why we're doing this. This is why this is happening. I want to educate you yep. on the home buying process because I don't want there to be any sort of misunderstandings or anything like that. So that's why I like the training. I think that's huge because now in our market in this day and age, there's so much information that the consumer can already find about the houses and things like that, but there's not much they can find online about how to navigate the whole process. Mm -hmm. So to me, I feel like we're like information brokers at this point and not sales. Yeah. So we always just tell people that we're advisors, oh, real estate sure. advisors. Mm -hmm. So I think, it, so the bilingual, like how many, like what percentage of your clientele would you say? I would probably say 50%. That's awesome. 50% of my clients are Spanish speaking and um, there's not as many resources when it comes to information online in Spanish. So yeah. that's when I come in and I make sure that I explain to them in their own language. And that way there's, you know, clarity when it comes to the transaction. Well, and that's one thing I've noticed too. Obviously I don't use it as, as often as you do, but I know like in our back office with our marketing material, they have like things in Spanish on the buying process that you can give to them. And oh, for sure. Somebody was telling me this, and I don't know if you utilize this, that you can change the language setting like mm -hmm. on your website so that they can view our whole website and all the houses mm -hmm. in Spanish. Which is another reason I love eXp. So there's, you can switch your, my website to Spanish, and then there's also marketing materials in our enterprise mm -hmm. that are all in Spanish. So when it comes to home buying guides, any sort of information that you need, I can switch it over to Spanish and that way I can hand it to my clients. That's awesome. Cause usually it's like when I've had to deal with Spanish speaking, cause I know mm -hmm. enough Spanish to order a beer, <laughs> ask what my total is, uh, and find the bathroom. Those are the three main things. The three essentials. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tourist 101 Espanol. Um, you know, usually I'm having to deal with like their eight year old. Yeah. And trying to explain the process to them and they're trying to explain it to the parents and it's nerve wracking because it's like how much of this is getting lost in translation. Mm -hmm. So that's Typically some. 
Uh, yeah, I, I mean, mean, if you're so. eight, yeah. you really don't know what's going on. But um, yeah, that's what I love about it. I love that I'm able to, you know, help them find a house, buy a house, and help with the lending side as well. I make sure I find lenders that speak Spanish for them. And do any of the closing companies here in town have a, a Spanish speaking closer? Um, I think one of them does. And if she's not available, then I am at closing and I make sure right. that there's no misunderstandings. Gotcha. Okay. So give us a little bit of what your goals are for 2021. Um, my goal is to become icon agent. Okay. I know you're super close to capping. Yes. How, how short are we? We are a house and a half away. <laughs> a house and a half. So if anybody wants to buy half a house, a house and a half away. So basically <laughs> I am this close to capping. So what, two years ago, I would have never thought that I was going to cap this year, and we're making it happen, and next year, we are going to cap, and we're going to become Icon. Okay, so take take our viewers back. We had a phone call, and we were talking about different things, and then you called me one day, and you said, you know, it was really funny. Daniel and I had this funny conversation, and it's just working. Like, if we put a little bit of effort out, it's working. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you try, it works. Like all the tools that EXP gives us, if you just use them, it works. Uh, it's a plug and play. That's what I tell all these people that we're talking to that have met with us about EXP. I'm like, they basically just hand you a business in a box. Um, it's got all the tools in it, but you have to pick the tools up and swing the hammer or whatever. I mean, oh, it's for like, sure. but it's all there for you. Okay, so Icon. What do you think your business is going to have to look like next year to hit Icon? Like, what are some of the things that you're implementing to take your business to that next level? I am hiring a transaction coordinator. Awesome. So basically, I'm still going to be the one, you know, helping my clients yeah. do everything. But it's just a little person that is going to do paperwork, paperwork <laughs> send emails or do something. Yep. So I feel like that way I'm there for my clients as well yeah. but not too busy sending out emails um i'm also going to uh schedule somebody to do some of my marketing for me that's awesome uh we just had another conversation with one of our agents this morning that that's kind of his plan mm -hmm. as well he's he's wanting to hire somebody that's going to take some of his marketing load off and do some of his mm -hmm. follow-up calls and mm -hmm. and that type of stuff because yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I think of you and a couple of our other agents that have little kids at home and I don't know how you do it. So hats off because Austin's 18 <laughs> and some days that poses its own challenges, but I can't imagine having three little kids running around and still selling as much real estate as you guys are. So you yeah. guys are crushing it. I'm super proud. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. So one of the other things I was going to bring up, we just opened Mexico. Yes for EXP and like I said I can go down there and order beer and get my tab in the bathroom but what's so we've been talking about going down there mm -hmm. and attracting agents for Mexico so what's some of your goals for that so my goals are to have at least at least 10 people sign up under my name um, I really want to expand in the Mexican market. Yeah. Um, and once that happens, I feel like everybody's gonna be able to see, you know, how big of a deal EXP is here. I I think we're just at the very tip of a big iceberg with people understanding where we're at. I mean, the stock has given a lot of emphasis over the last couple of weeks. I don't know if you guys, have you looked to see like how much stock you have in your portfolio? I haven't looked, but I know when we started, it was at ten dollars, and what are I think we're at eighty dollars now yeah. a share. So, yeah. I mean, wow, it's been insane, and we just keep looking at it. We're like, now we have this much, now we have this much. <laughs> so maybe it's better if we don't look at it too. Yeah, <laughs> don't look at it, and then that way you're so completely surprised. That, that way you don't touch it, and it's just it's there for retirement or some mm -hmm. something big. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I know you've got a bunch of cookies to deliver to all your clients today. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cut this video short 
And I want to thank you for being here. And we're super happy to have you and Daniel with us. You guys have been awesome. Uh, an awesome addition to our group. I would say team because that's how it feels, even though it's not. But we're really happy to have you guys with us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Bye, guys. We'll see you coming soon on another video. Bye.